Amen. You know, we are in a battle, but it's not a battle that's fought with guns and rockets and planes and tanks. We are in a spiritual battle, not fought with flesh and blood. And we are God's army in that battle. We can't see it, but it's going on around us every day. It's for the souls of men, sometimes for the very lives. It's definitely for the eternal life, but sometimes even for the physical life. I'm reminded of something that happened just a few years ago. It was on the weekend. It was on a Saturday, and our family had come by the church. I always have to come by on Saturday for something and forgot something. And and so I parked right out here, and there was a young man sitting on the curb right outside the office door and I thought okay well this is kind of interesting and you know just sitting there so I I walked past him I said hello how you doing and he kind of said hello and nodded so I went ran in the church for a minute and of course all these things are on my mind the kids are out there and Pam's out there and we're going somewhere but thankfully I came back out and the young man was still there and I sat down next to him and I said you know how you doing what is everything okay what's going on and he shared just quickly that his life had just kind of fallen apart. That it was really tough. And that he was going down the road and saw Mount Zion and just drove in. Something had him drive in. He drove in and sat on the curb right out there. If you go out that door, on that curb right there. So he talked for a few minutes. I said, can I pray with you? He said, yes. So we bowed our head and prayed because he had told me he was a Christian. They knew the Lord. We prayed. I just prayed that God would be with him and God would strengthen him and God would give him wisdom to the decisions he was facing and just that God would just encourage him. I said, Amen. And he looked at me and said, I want to tell you something. He said, I had decided I was going to commit suicide. And as I came by the church and drove in, I said, God, If you are really there, send somebody to pray with me. And I thought, oh my goodness. What if I had just walked by again and just said hi? But that day, God wanted to use me to protect his very life. Never seen him again since then. I don't know what's happened. But I prayed for him that God would just continue to strengthen. You never know when God wants to use you we're in that battle. Satan does not want us to win. He, Jesus has already won the ultimate battle. But every day they're a battle for souls. Because he alone can rescue us from all that Satan has. Who, O oh Lord, could save themselves? Nobody. Let's sing these words together. You alone. You alone. 